answer any questions here, but I will answer that one. I'm going to tell you that, as I have been saying for a considerable period of time, I am waiting for all of the investigations to bring up and bring out the truth of what did happen there, because I don't know any more than I've already told you. Well, what does it say to people that you didn't know that the money was what, what did you say? What does it say about the fact that the Save you got, you got to press that one tomorrow. Me, the, the, <laughs> didn't know that the money was going directly yeah. to the terrorists. Yeah. 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 What's What's wrong? Wrong? I don't know. Donald, still ask that question. Donald, still ask that question. You know the answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what about the GMP? It looks like the revised figure shows it. <laughs> the worst the worst in the world. I don't have anything to say. Is that a surprise to ran economic news? Sam comes in with his book where he can sign them all. He's trying to sell? Sam will walk me in the book. He changed since you were here, huh? Uh, no. How are you doing? Yes, I'm doing very How are you doing? What's going on? That's another. You know, I sent that guy, I told our guys to tell that guy to answer the question. Right. Ask something in the way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just last fall in favor of providing that necessary aid to those people who are trying to bring about democracy there. And I thank you for your support in the past and uh, I'd like to be able to thank you again. If you just stay the course, I think the stakes are high, but this is one we have to win. Our strategy to advance democracy in all of Central America is two points. First, we want to help those countries that are already democratic to fulfill the hopes of their people. And to advance that goal, we sent forward a request for $300 million in economic aid for the Central American democracies. Second part of the plan is to help bring about democracy in Nicaragua. And to advance that goal, I'm asking for you again to release the final installment of the you voted last fall. And if there's to be any hope for a negotiated settlement at some point in the future, then it's essential we help sustain a strong democratic resistance inside Nicaragua. The Soviets know how important Nicaragua is to the future of Central America. They're committed to their support of the Ortega regime. And last year, they poured nearly a billion dollars in aid, mostly military aid, into Nicaragua. We simply have got to support those forces down there who want democracy, or we can't abandon them. We're risking their lives out there and deep now into Nicaragua, being more effective than they've been in the past. So I urge you to vote to release the aid and to reject the resolution of disapproval this afternoon. And uh, now I'm going to ask George and Frank to brief you further on developments uh, down there. And George, you Mr. Further. President, thank you. I'd like to make six points about this situation. Hi, <laughs> Where are we campaigning next week? <laughs> Whatever are you saying? I've got a schedule on Howard Price.
lunch is when we all gather. Uh, and the way we finish eating, we can talk with our mouths for a minute. Mr. President, we appreciate the, you and Senator Baker taking so much time in your busy day to, to see us. These are some old friends around the table for you, I know. And so what we what we thought we'd do with your, with your permission, sir, is so you have a chance to eat your lunch and so that we can utilize uh, all the time that we have with you uh, as well as possible, that we go around the table to begin with and would ask uh, each participant to just tell you a little bit about how things went last night. They have a comment about what, what we might do in the future and give you some thoughts on the political situation in their particular areas. And if it's all right with you, uh, Bill Timmons on your left has sacrificed more uh, than you'd care to think already since he's losing one of his partners to you. But, um, Is that the way you describe it? <laughs> <laughs> he's got a list of papers he wants to return. <laughs> I cleaned that up a little bit. Right. <laughs> Bill, would you like to, to leave it off? Well, thank you. I'm a little confused today. That